guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Tosh. If you're new, don't forget to click that button down below, subscribe so you don't miss out on anything that I have to upload for the rest of this year. It's going to be pretty crazy. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, you should already know that I would die for you. I would take a bullet if you need me to. In this video, as you can tell by the title, I'm sure, I wanted to show you guys everything that I bought for my jaw surgery just to kind of prepare for it. One of my good friends, Hannah, she made me a little like recovery basket and it's so stinking cute. So hi Hannah, I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for this basket. I can't wait to see everything that's inside. So we have an aloe and bergamot room spray, cactus, blossom, aloe vera, lime, prickly pear. Oh, I like that. <laughs> and then this cute card, it says, damn girl. I can't believe it's finally time. Congrats and good luck. I'm praying for the surgery and for a quick um, less painful recovery. You're a badass. Love you lots. These face masks, Oliver is just so interested. I've never tried this brand, but I'm so excited. And then these are Alaska Knits Premium Wool Socks. Grace and peace be yours in abundance. God's love and kindness will shine upon us like the sun that rises in the sky. Chamomile lavender tea. She got me some Vaseline, which I'm so thankful for because I actually did get some Aquaphor for the surgery and I was reading on Reddit that some people have reactions to Aquaphor, so it's best to have both on hand. So I'm so thankful that she got these for me. A candle called Champion featuring a bold blend of citrus and acai berry for inner strength. That smells so good. <sighs> this smells so good. I'm so excited. Eee! Thank you so much, Hannah. Seriously, like you have no idea how much this made my day. They're like little sticker things. They're like page holders, kind of. I don't know exactly what they are. So we have green tea body lotion and then coconut body lotion. Ooh, I love stickers. I am a child of God. Ooh, these are so cute. I don't have time to read all of them on here right now. Why is this the cutest pen ever? Is this a pen or a marker? Ooh, oh my God, wait, it's a pen. These are so cute and so aesthetic. And then she got me a joint, which I will probably smoke before the surgery, not like literally before, but like either today or tomorrow and then I'll be done smoking. Then she got me this cute mug. I love this and sticky notes. So perfect because I also have been wanting to make my desk supplies a little bit more aesthetic. So she came in clutch and right in time with all the things that I've been wanting and needing. She got me this lotion and things are a little bit harder for me right now because I took off my nails. Um, my nails are still long, but I had to take off the gel and the dip because my surgeon told me to. Oh my God. I, oh wow, I love the smell of this. This is probably gonna be the most used item out of this basket. I saw this and I was like, this is gonna be my recovery blanket. But I love this color, it's so pretty. A toy for Oliver. Love a good notebook. Again, so aesthetic, chose the cutest color. Oh yeah, it's like a journal, perfect. And then, such a pretty smile. Oh, this is so cute and so sweet. I wonder what it's about. And then she got me some bubble tea straws, which are perfect. They're so big and yay, I'm so excited. And now I'm gonna go through all of the things that I bought uh, specifically for jaw surgery. My blender, I'll just pop a screenshot of the blender that I got. I decided to go with a Ninja. Um, first thing are these Wound Vite, like, vitamins it's post-surgery scar wound support i talked to my surgeon he said it is okay that i take these and then i got the orgain organic protein powder in creamy chocolate fudge i also got it in vanilla just to have some variety because i know that i'm gonna get bored super fast then i also got some collagen peptides i don't know if any of this stuff is really gonna make a difference but i got it because i feel like it's gonna make a difference and i really just want to give myself the absolute best outcome and healing process and like recovery speed and all of that so i also got pb fit classic roasted peanut butter. I've never used this before, but again, um, I'm gonna be having like a lot of smoothies. I just want different flavors of things to be able to add a lot of variety into my food so that I don't get 
bored. Justin's vanilla almond butter just to add into like Greek yogurt for extra calories and fat and stuff like that. I need to consume as many calories in one sitting as possible because I know that I'm not going to enjoy eating and I just need to eat something that's going to keep me like so full. So my goal is 500 calories at minimum in one sitting. And I have like green juice and stuff like that so that will help. Got a 24 pack of the these very high calorie boost nutritional drinks I wanted to try it on camera for you guys literally you guys 530 calories let's go ahead and try it I'm really nervous I hope that it doesn't taste like shit okay let's see but it doesn't taste bad it tastes like strawberry milk so this is actually gonna be pretty good thoroughly impressed by that I really thought it was gonna taste disgusting how do they have 500 calories in that that's crazy you need a little sippy sippy so I did get four button down tops because my face is supposed to be super swollen. Um, they say for like a week you won't be able to wear regular shirts. I got this penguin one, which is so cute. Plain black one, which this will probably be the one that I wear to the hospital since it's plain black minus this little trim here. Just in case I'm bleeding or like anything like that. Oh, we like to lay on mommy's clean clothes. And then I got a red one as well. So I have a lot of variety as far as like PJs go. And did I need to get that? Absolutely not. I also got Got some nice headphones for the hospital but after I bought them and used them I was like I'm probably not gonna enjoy them being on my swollen head I am gonna bring them just in case because you never know I might be able to wear them then I also got this RSL like weed oil if you're not into marijuana or anything like that I'm sorry I am and I do truly believe in its powers and abilities. You put it into like your soup, your hot chocolate, your drinks, whatever, and it helps with like pain, calming you down, helping you sleep. I'm gonna try to get off the pain pills as soon as I can. I'm gonna try this. If it works, then I'll probably go back and buy more of these. I got some syringes for eating. I'll open one for you guys. Take your liquid and then I can either just like put it in my mouth like this or a tube that connects to it and then you can feed it into your mouth and have your liquid that way. I got these strainers because I don't know exactly what I'm making yet or like what my brother's making and needing to get these anyways. Like it's good for when you're baking, like sifting the flour and stuff like that. These will be good for just making sure it's completely liquefied. Also got a wedge pillow because I think it will be worth it. I'll double stack my pillows. I probably will be at a good incline. I also got a humidifier because I won't be able to blow my nose for two weeks approximately. I got this to help with with my breathing. I also got some steam eye masks in general. Even if you're not getting surgery, these masks are so good. If you get like a migraine or you have trouble falling asleep, get you some of these masks. I got a pink ice roller. I got these, which is what I will be eating out of. Um, some more syringes just in case. Um, a jaw bra, which if you don't know what a jaw bra is, let me show you. Boom, this is what I'll be looking like. I got some aesthetic baby spoons because, you know, I am afraid to use metal. Also, just because baby spoons are smaller, I don't know if I'll be able to fit a whole ass spoon in my mouth. We'll see. I got some lip masks. I'm super into self-care to begin with, but I know my lips are gonna be hella crusty and busted after this surgery, so I'm going to use a lot of lip masks. I got a post-surgery toothbrush but I think it might be too big and then I'm gonna need to go get an actual baby toothbrush. I got a pill crusher just so I can crush everything easy. I got some Tylenol 500 because again I'm gonna try and switch to this as soon as I, as soon as I can. I also have this adult bib. Looks like this. I have heard 
from so many people on Reddit that they wish that they got bibs because of how much they drooled after. So this will be to catch all of the drool, snot, blood, whatever's coming out of my face. That's pretty much everything that I bought for the surgery. My brother is making me a pumpkin soup, which I'm also so appreciative appreciative of and I can't wait to eat it. I'm so excited because I love pumpkin soup. I have not had eggs. I have not had yogurt. I have not had smoothies. I have not had soup or anything similar to any of the things that I'm going to be consuming while I have my surgery. I probably went overboard but how I see things is that it's better to be over prepared than under prepared. I would rather have all this shit that I don't need and be going through recovery perfectly fine than not have something even if it was just one thing that could have made my recovery easier faster more simple whatever it is I would rather be more prepared my biggest piece of advice as far as like buying all this stuff goes definitely break it up over time because I bought everything in one month and like including all the powders all the food and like the stuff right here i spent probably about a thousand dollars luckily i make good money so i don't really have to worry about it but it is still like I, it kind of grosses me out i feel icky spending this much money and then also i have to drop 1500 the day of my surgery first month buy a couple ice rollers the next month buy a couple of jaw bras the following month buy a humidifier the following month buy some syringes you know let me show you guys the food and stuff that I got. It's going to be a clip from later in the day, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know down below and I will see you guys in the next video. We will be in recovery. Oh God, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm so fucking scared, but I will see you guys in the next video. It's going to be a vlog. Bye. Also, I got these cups. I got a lot of these, just different flavors of the rice, so that I wouldn't get bored. A lot of oatmeal, a lot of honey, applesauce, and then I wanted to try some baby food. So much pineapple juice, you guys. So much pineapple juice. Apple juice to take my medication with. I have bone broth and chicken broth. some broccoli cheddar and then I also have this one rustic zuppa toscana never heard of it never had it um, so many eggs